Hey guys, just wanted to show you guys a rebuild on a 1 horsepower Craftsman motor. This is pretty popular on a lot of wood saws. And I see a lot of homeowners wind up owning these motors. So I figured I'd make this video and show some of you guys what the inside of this motor is like and things to look for and what I did on this particular rebuild. Uh, the biggest culprit on this motor was that it was full of dust and full of oil that got in mixed with the dust and clumped up and was preventing the switch from working. So the customer's complaint was that it was humming. Now when I plugged it in, it hummed for a little bit, but if I messed with the shaft, it would start. And that was pretty indicative to a bad start switch problem. So I went ahead, disassembled the motor, and began cleaning it. Uh, I had a lot of cleaning to do on this motor that was uh, just filled with dirt, as you can see. After some scraping with wire brushes and screwdriver, blew it out with some compressed air. Then I removed the wicking and the little shields that hold the bearing together. This way I can uh, sandblast it. I also wire wheeled the stator using a Valdor 3 quarter horsepower buffer and lightly sanded the inside using a drum sander. The switch on this motor is just uh, pretty cool. It's a dust type style. It has a little spring and a washer. And if you're careful, you can bend it out of the way, open it up, file a contact, and make the switch just like brand new again. And I save a lot of these motors just by readjusting and fitting that switch back. Here you can see some of the parts after I cleaned and painted them. Uh, the winding was epoxy. The end bells also were epoxy to help prevent rust and it also keeps some of the dust from sticking to the inside as easily. Start by putting the felt back in around. The purpose of this is to help get the oil back up into the bearing. Then there's the little plate which the spacers ride on. The motor is pretty straightforward to reassemble. It just slides together and it's held together with four bolts. Then there's two U clamps that hold it into the cradle. So after it was assembled, I tested it. After it ran okay on the test bench, went ahead and painted it. Went ahead with the gloss black on this. I thought it came out pretty good. Uh, and then also remounted the pulley, which I broached because there was no QA in the pulley. So now I can actually use a 3 16 key and it's a whole lot more secure than it was. Also, I had a uh, we did the end on the cord, this way he has some proper connections on there. And well, there we have it. We've got the before and after of the rusty, crusty junk to a shiny, good running motor. And uh, a special treat is we get to see what this cool capacitor tester is about. You can see the opening on the vacuum tube gets larger, and at its largest opening is where you value the capacitors on the dial pretty cool setup. We found it here in the shop. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks. Take care.